Okay, I'm going to demonstrate uh, Brunsviga 11E, calculated from the mid late uh, 50s, uh, and it features semi-automatic uh, multiplication and division. It's an electromechanical calculator. So I have some initial values and random values here in the input register. It can be cleared by this key over here. Now we have the Simulator output register, tag it as 3, we clear it electromechanically like this. And now we have the, well, the repetitions register over here. Number 2, we clear with this key here. So we are now in multiplication mode. I'm going to input a number. I'm going to put a 9 in the units, 7 decimals. Then six, five, four, three, two. So I run out of digits. I can should have put a one to give a good even result, but we'll do it anyway. Um, we are going to multiply multiply by forty five, and for that first we multiply by five. We're in the multiplication setting. So we just press these until we get a 5 over here. Okay, we have this partial result here. Now we need to multiply by 40. So we do that by shifting the position of the output register. Now it is in position number 2. We multiply by 4. And we have a nice, almost nice, even result over here. But anyway, that's the correct result. So if we press this key, we can, uh, for instance, move this thing here manually. Then there is a spring, so we can move it back to the last position. Now we are going to clear everything. And just show that we can also do standard addition. So this means that the input register will be cleared once we do the operation. I'm going to add 22 over there. So it was added and it was cleared. Um, now, if I want to subtract, say, 11, I can press this key over here. So I've subtracted 11. And this is the result on the output register. Going to subtract now, say seven, just once, and the result is four. And uh, well, we are on the negative part on the um, repetitions register. So I'm going to clear everything again, and we'll do a, a division now. So the division is quite interesting. Um, first, we need to put some uh, component in the output register. We are going to put there 3, 5, 5. When we divide it by 1, 1, 3, we'll get a nice pi approximation. So first we put it there. We can put it and then clear it. So I'm still on the plus minus mode. I'm going to put it over there. Here it is. We also get something on the repetitions register. Uh, but that's okay for now. So we are going to divide these by 1, 1, 3. Here it is. We need to clear that one first. So we clear it. And now we are prepared to start the division. So I'm going to press, I'm going to put it on the division mode. Now I'm going to press the minus. And it's going to subtract uh, 113 as many times as possible, while well, it still does not go negative here. And it will count how many times it did, and then the remaining will be here, and we will be shifting to then subtract the remaining. So let's do the first operation. Okay, so you see, we already have a 3 over there. This is the remainder, and the shifting was automatic, but it's not producing the, the other digits. We need to keep pressing minus to get another digit of precision. So this is one of the few machines that allow 
this control over how many digits are being output by the division. Most machines do this all automatically or totally manually. So again, more digits. Again, and the final digit. Okay, and we have exhausted the the register here. So we have three, uh, fourteen, fifteen, nine. So let's clear everything, and this will conclude the demonstration. Put it here, just in case. Clear this one, this one, and that one. Okay, so this was a demonstration of the operations for the Brunswiger 11E. Thank you.